So now we need to check for um, a state change or a ready state change from, from our XML HTTP object. So we say XML HTTP dot on ready state change uh, and then we equal this to a function. So uh, if um, so basically based on this event we create a new function and then inside here uh, we can start checking our ready state and our status of our um, of our request. So we say if and we say XML HTTP dot uh, ready state and remember our capital S here so case sensitive is equal to 4 and our uh, XML HTTP dot uh, status is oh sorry status is equal to 200 this just means if the page is not blank um, or the request isn't blank I mean um, then we uh, complete the uh, rest of this block so if this is if these are both true uh, then we uh, create what's in here so now under our um, insert um, field if you like here we're, we're typing our uh, the value that we want to insert into our database we're going to create a div and what this div is going to do is it's going to feed back the information from our update.inc.php file when we create it um, and the reason for this is when we've inserted the data we're going to tell the user that the data has been inserted but because we're doing this without refreshing the page we want to give um, a confirmation message inside a div uh, so I'm going to call this div I've created the structure for the div here we don't need to put anything in here at the moment well at all I'm going to call the div uh, message so this is just going to feed back information uh, from our um, from our request our Ajax request uh, and the uh, the output in update.inc.php is going to be put into this div so hopefully that makes sense otherwise uh, continue to follow along and see what you think so we've got document uh, dot get element by ID uh, what I struggled with earlier uh, and then we specify the name of the div so in this case it's message and then what we do is we say inner dot sorry dot inner HTML and what this is going to do is it's going to set the HTML within our the specific div that we've specified. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to equal this to XML HTTP dot response text. And all this basically is is it's the um, the output sent back from update.inc.php because we're going to be opening this file later and sending post data to it. I'm going to be taking back the response text from this file. So that's important that we put that into message in order to, uh, let's say if we were to say echo failed at any point in our program, the um, in, in any time in our script, the message div would be updated. So now that we've done that, um, we can come down here and we can start to um, send our post data. Now if you watch the other tutorials, you'll see that we've used XML HTTP dot open and then we've supplied three parameters. Don't forget the um, co uh, semicolon at the end. Um, we've supplied the first param parameter was get. The next was the file, so this was update.inc.php and then it was true because we're sending the data asynchronously so we need to set this to true. It's actually true by default but I tend to put it in anyway just to uh, ensure that it's there etc 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 just for my own peace of mind. So now we say XML HTTP dot send. Now there's a few changes that we need to make when we're using post data. Um, you'll see that um, in some of the other tutorials I've put um, a, um, a question mark here uh, to specify that we're going to be sending uh, get data and I've sent some specific data so I've said for example um, text equals hello okay so what I've done there is uh, I've sent get data because it's uh, as part of the URL so let's go ahead and test this uh, so we um, we can see that everything's working uh, with regards to the um, the Ajax. So at the moment, what I'll, what this what this uh, Ajax will do is it will open this update.inc.php file, or will it uh, and it will pass through a variable called text, which is a get variable with the value hello. So what we can do inside here is just echo out dollar underscore get text and what that should do is it should re-echo what we've entered into the text box because remember what we enter into the text box is being picked up sorry let's go back here 
what we enter into the text box will be picked up eventually by this. So this will equal hello just for now and it will put that into our message div down here as I explained earlier. So let's go ahead and check that this works. Let's click submit and you can see that the value hello has been returned. Now obviously the problem with this at the moment is we've completely avoided the point of the tutorial. We need to um, post data using post. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this to post and I'm going to get rid of uh, these um, variables on the end here because we don't post data through the URL. 